Hello and welcome to Anna's Virtual Yoga Studio. Some yoga poses are just favorites for myself and my students, and I offer a few of them for your consideration. Join me. This sequence is particularly good for relieving upper body tension in the shoulders and neck. Begin by lying down in constructive rest pose with the knees bent, feet apart, and knees together. Allow your breath to deepen. Lengthen the exhale, deepen the inhale, and relax. Once you're relaxed, embrace your knees into chest and do apanasana, inhaling the knees away from you, pointing the toes, and exhaling knees into chest, flexing the toes. Hold on to your knees throughout so your shoulders stay relaxed. Avoid any unnecessary tension in the face or jaw. Do this a few times. Once you've relaxed, come onto your side and bring your legs up in 90 degrees. Support your head with the bottom arm and your top arm can be in front of you. On the inhale, sweep around overhead in a big semicircle to about shoulder level behind you. And on the exhale, move it through the side back to the front. Repeat at your pace. Inhale, sweep around, overhead, to the back, and then through side, back to front. All the while, keep your knees stacked together and your pelvis stacked so that you are really targeting the thoracic spine and the shoulder. Make sure the amplitude of the arm movement is well within your comfort range that it is something very enjoyable to you. Support your head well throughout. Do several passes on one side and then turn around to the other. Legs at 90 degrees. Inhale, sweep overhead. Shoulder level behind you, exhale through side, back to front. Really focus on not drifting and following with the pelvis into this twist. Allow the pelvis to serve as an anchor for your spine while you explore the mobility in the shoulder. Compare the two sides. How does this shoulder differ from the other and in what ways? After many hours of sitting or driving, this is a favorite one of mine to do. Combined with the Miracle Balls practice, you can't really beat the effects of this. Once you finish, come onto your back again and uh, relax. Enjoy the effects. To counteract the twisting of the spine, we need to do something mild and symmetrical. So when you are ready, embrace the knees into chest and repeat. Apanasana, inhaling legs away, exhaling legs in, pointing and flexing the feet as you go. Next, we're going to switch into child's pose with the hips as far back to the heels and arms as far forward as they can reach. Find your breath in the back body. Our little symmetrical movement is going to continue here with child into table and back with the breath. Inhale and come into table pose with a small back bend. Exhale and come back into child's pose. Continue at your pace, synchronizing breath and movement together. As you arch the spine, softly engage the abdomen. 
and as you exhale and retreat back into child's pose, progressively contract the belly a little bit more. This will warm up your spine for mild back bends. Everybody needs to do cobra every day. We do so much sitting around with our back slumped and rounded. This movement will help to activate the back muscles and get them ready. To transition onto your belly, move your hands a little bit forward. Let your tail stick up towards the ceiling. Find an angle that feels good through the shoulder. Make sure you're not forcing yourself into any positions that are uncomfortable. And then transition onto your abdomen altogether with the elbows supporting you under your shoulders. Keep your chin slightly tucked and your belly firm. As you inhale, lift up, straightening the arms a little. And as you exhale, release back down. Make sure you don't force yourself too far right away. Instead, start with your minimum range and gradually lift the elbows a little bit more as you feel is appropriate for you. Inhale, maintain your zip up as you press up into Cobra and exhale with control, release. You can gradually come up higher and higher if that feels good for you, as long as you keep your belly firm. Next, let's add a little bit of a twist to this. Brace yourself with the elbows as before, and then start looking over one shoulder and then over the other, coming back to center twisting in the shoulder girdle side to side and turning your head as well. I love this one for neck tension. You can come up a little higher if you'd like a little bit more sensation and if you feel very confident about your ability to keep your abdominals softly engaged. To rest, lie on your belly with the hands under your face and again take a deep breath into the back body. You may wish to watch the next movement first before doing it. Stepping your hands out shoulder level, inhale and press up into Cobra. Exhale, take your left arm through and down to the floor. Bring the right knee up. And then as you twist towards the ceiling, take your right arm overhead and behind you, similarly to what the previous twist had been. And then come up on the inhale and switch sides. Take your right arm down, your left knee up. Leave the knee on the floor as an anchor as you sweep around with your left arm. Go side to side through cobra, pressing up on your belly, taking the arm, shoulder and head down and then the opposite knee up to leave you anchored as you stretch out into the twist. As you reach overhead and to the back with your top arm, keep the elbows somewhat bent. You will find that increases pleasant sensations in chest muscles, which may be tight. Do a few on each side, transitioning at your pace, lingering in any angle that feels particularly good. And when you are finished, rest again on your belly, breathing into the back body. Notice how you feel now, what's changed as you're approaching the end of your practice. Transition at your pace into child's pose for one last round of child to table. Inhaling into table pose with a back bend, exhaling into child's pose. Use your core to bring a little bit more symmetry to the body after the twist. Inhale, table with belly support. Exhale, child with progressive zip up. 
Repeat a few times with each breath and movement, bringing more symmetry and balance into your body. This is a favorite practice of mine to do. I like to do this one after the Miracle Balls practice, also found on my YouTube channel. The Miracle Balls practice helps you relax, knead a few knots out of your back, and this one increases circulation to some of the areas of the upper body that are often tight, tense, and weak. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.